Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a practice GED math test. This is going to be a five part video series. There are five questions in this practice test, so each video is going to feature one of the specific questions that I've set up for us to do in this five part video series. So in video series one, let me go ahead and get us to that question and jump right in. OK, so here we are on this question, and I want to point out a couple of things here. First, I want to point out this. Uh, this is a little icon just letting you know that you cannot use a calculator to solve this problem. So on the GED math test, it's broken into two parts. Part one has five questions. And on those five questions, you do not have the ability to use a calculator like you see this little icon here. So what we need to really focus on then is computation. And what the test is focusing on is computation. So you will see some problems like this, some basic multiplication. And so you see that this is multiplication, but a little bit of a wrinkle here because there's decimal points in it. And so let me just go ahead and kind of rewrite the problem. Now, usually whenever I'm working with multiplication, I just get rid of the decimal points, but I count the spaces first. So that's one, two, three, and then down here is four. So there's four spaces on the decimal point. So I'm just going to put a four right here and circle it. And then I'm just going to rewrite that problem. And I just do this just so it's easier. So I, I multiply it as if it was 275 times 35. So for those of you who do not remember the, basic, the, the basics of multiplication, well, let's just do them again here quickly. So 5 times 5 is 25. So we're going to put that 5 down here and carry the 2. 5 times uh, 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37. So we're going to put that 7 there and carry the 3 in that case. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. And then we're going to put a 0 there to hold the place for the 1s because now we're moving to the 10s place right here. And then 3 times 5 is 15s. So we're going to put the 5 and carry the 1. 3 times uh, 7 is 21 plus 2. So we're going to put the 2 down here and carry the 2 up there. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And so we're going to write our 8 there. And then we know this is an addition operation at this point. So we do 5 plus and 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6. 8 plus 1 is 9. Now here's where we got to be careful because like I said before, we're going to mark our uh, 4 here. So we know we have to move 4 decimal places. So we start at the right and go 1 two, three, four, and that gives us our decimal place right there. So we get 0.9625 as our answer. And then we come on over here and we see option B. Uh, actually, let me redo that circle, but uh, option B there we see is our answer. So again, on the GED math test, you're going to see some basic things like this uh, in the part one in the computational section. And so this is very important because you need to know how to do it. So I hope that this was review for many of you. If it was not, then I'm even more glad that I've done it. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button down there and give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. So that way you can keep up with all the videos that I post. I do my best to post a video a week. And so specifically with this five part series, I'm going to be posting one video over the next five weeks. So that way, when I post a video, you'll get notification of it. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, thanking you for joining me for part one of this five part video series. Thank you.